you know, if your listeners and viewers will just tell me, you know, just shoot an email. Hey, Frank. Let us know who you want to talk about. I'll be happy to bring in some memorabilia about them. One second, Frank. Hey, uh, Donna Halper's here, Frank. Can you hear me? Hey. Can you hear me? Uh, How's that? Hi, Frank. Are you there, Frank? Uh, Hello, can you hear us? Can you hear me now? Hello, Rangoon. Doesn't sound good. Nope, let's try it again. Don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to hope. It does every week. We are hopeful, because this is who we are. In the meantime, I will hold up for the camera a WBZ Radio That's 103 better. survey from 1966. Back in the Bruce Bradley Hello, days. About Did I All have right. the wrong phone number? Oh, you got the right phone number. Oh, I called the wrong person. Oh, you, no, this is me. Yeah, but no, I called someone else before you. Hey. Well, I hope you know a lot about the movie. Say hi to Donna Halper. Hey, Frank. Hello, how are you? How How's the world treating you? Okay. <laughs> oh, are we ready to talk about the movie? Yeah. Okay, it's suddenly... That's the name of it, Suddenly, 1954, and it's about a, I don't want to give too much away because the, the ending is quite a surprise, but it is, you'll learn in the first few minutes, uh, Frank Sinatra is a rather unbalanced would-be assassin who has decided to perch himself in a family's home where he still have a bird's eye shot at the President of the United States, whose, whose train is passing through this small town. And as you'll, again, I'm not giving much away, the, uh, the tension builds as the train approaches and the, the townspeople and the family, particularly the family that's, that's in the middle of all this, decides what to do. Um, this was Sinatra's first movie after the Academy, uh, winning the Academy Award in 1953 for From Here to the Eternity. His, uh, he's come out of his down period. His, his uh, recording contract had expired a few years before. His career was on the skids. From here to eternity in the Academy Award, turn that all around from he's back recording, and not only is he back recording, he's going into a golden period of, of album making with a uh, Capitol Records, I believe, and it's going to try to do some of his best work. And I, if, if you look at his performance, this is a this is a good performance. Is it the best performance he ever gave? Maybe. And uh, he might have had the back of his mind. I want to show him I'm more than just a singer. I want to show him that from here to eternity wasn't a fluke. Because for him to eternity, he was playing a little Italian guy from the city who was in the in the in the uh, army. So very, you know, very much like him in real life. So, but this was about as different as you could be from him. And I think he pulls out all the stops. And I'll say, I'm, I'm a sucker for good actors who go a bit over the top. I, I like performances where they just take out all the stops and and, and you know put it all on the line. And some of them go a bit too far and it, it kind of falls apart but when they hold it together it's really great uh, actresses and actors both do that uh, one of my favorites is uh, Sunset Boulevard with uh, uh, ooh, the name of the actress escapes me at the moment so Gloria Swanson you know, is, is, is playing in that role she was an over the top performance I just enjoyed Rock Steiger gave a lot of over the top performances Frank Sinatra not so many but this this may be one that he really threw his, threw his soul into. Does this break up our uh, string of film noirs? This is kind of a uh, son of film noir. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, son it's of film noir. Tones, but it's... Uh, no, I, I guess you could call it a It had it come a few years before and, uh, you know, a bit more claustrophobic in plot. And, I, you know, you like, you like film noirs to take place in dark cities with drain-drenched sidewalks, and this is out in the uh, countryside where the president's train will be going through, but it's, it's, it's certainly sort of noir. Um, Frank, do you know what the critics said about it at that time? Because a lot of times, great movies that we love today, at the time, people just didn't know what to do with them. I remember that the Marx Brothers, for example, they got absolutely excoriated by the critics when Duck Soup came out, and today Duck Soup is considered a classic. How was this received? I, I'm a... Uh, I only found out an hour ago this was going to move to a movie, so I had no time to look up old reviews. My guess is it went over pretty well. It was, uh, when it played on, I, I saw it when it made its television premiere in the early 60s. 
1960s, mm -hmm. and uh, it certainly got a, a lot of play then. This is not just a movie that came on TV. Uh, the, the critics that commented on what's coming up for the week were singing its praises then. I, I'm, I'm ashamed to say I can't honestly say what the New York Times said about it, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this, this got good reviews. I don't think this, this was overlooked. I, I've known about the movie my whole life. Uh, you read about this uh, type of movie, suddenly often comes up. And uh, so I, I don't know, but they should try yeah. to be a Now, I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. It just seemed to me that given how well he had done in From Here to Eternity, and given that he was trying to really, like you said, prove that he wasn't just a singer, um, I would think that the public must have loved the movie. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 a more a more controversial movie that he made shortly after this was one that you showed a few weeks ago, Joe, the man with the golden golden arm. Mm -hmm. I think that was a Sinatra film you've shown previous to this. Right, it is. And and again, that's, that's another strong performance, but a quite different performance, quite different character. So um, again, a critical response. I don't know. Uh, and Frank, that's our time for tonight. Oh, it okay. It goes by so quick, but thank you so much, man. Talk to you soon. Talk to you next week. Right. We got the movie for next week already. Okay, what is it? Uh, what I, I gave it to you earlier. I'll email it. Okay, very good. All right. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Frank. Bye. And the show goes like that, like the Oracle wow. and the Matrix wow. says. Our time is up. Um, that's visual radio for tonight, July 28th. And there's a, a movie review show coming up next, Real to Real from Malden. Watch it. And then our public domain movie is on Friday nights at 9 o'clock.